Uh, I need, I can't see where the hell I am going either. There's something up there, but... Why don't we go to there? Oh. Oh, I was hoping that might happen. You once again encounter a common mountain goat. It's standing behind a rock and using its head to point emphatically in the direction you're walking. Is it trying to warn you? I hide behind the rock too. All right, let's hide behind the rock. Walking just a few feet ahead of you is a large wildcat. It, notice, it notices neither you or the goat. Thanks, goat! We listen to the goat. Ooh. All right. Reduce time cost when moving. This for 24 hours. So it just slows down time, right? Uh, gain some energy, body temperature, and oxygen while when walk, when waking. Oh, I'm waking up. Whenever you wake up. Uh, no, not really a fan of that one. Whenever you reach a point of interest, gain sanity. That would be nice right now. For two days. Yeah, that would be nice. All right. Oh, we can see stuff. And I, oh, there's stuff ahead. Oh, there's stuff behind me. Oh, did I not see? I must, must not have seen that before. All right, how are we doing? Uh, not bad. Okay. Uh, 1.1 1 .1 my hours of this bad stuff. <laughs> the sprained ankle. Um, I can't. It's well hard to go. Let's go, go there first. Ah, oh, let's go. I will say this though, the caves are few and far between now, but I think we've got four uses left on the tents. See a cave nearby. Man, this is some steep climbing now. I feel like I've bypassed the ice kind of. I'm in I'm in the middle. Whoa. Uh there we go. Uh you stumble over the corpse of a deer with no signs of decay. The animal died only recently. Yep, chewed herbs. Um Alright. I'm intrigued. The corpse is still warm as you place your knife against its underbelly on long, one, on long fine cut. Blood gushes out of the wound and pours over your hands. You grow dizzy and you start to feel nauseous. Uh, nauseous. Okay. We're committed. You did it. You have indeed found some unindigested herbs in the deer's stomach. What do they do? Oh. oh that was worth the sanity. So we'll take one. We'll start one. Thanks. Oh, damn. Nope. Okay, we'll leave that. That's a... Is that just massive... Ah, no, that just means it's going to consume a lot of energy, right? And we are no longer... Got a sprained ankle or whatever it was. Oh, it's all bad from here, I think. I think we have to go this way. Let's do it. I think this is the price to pay for not doing the ice route. Luckily, we've got some canned goods stored up. Control center. A low building catches your attention. It is well integrated into the landscape, so you almost didn't notice it. The architecture is modern and simple. Did the mysterious occupiers leave it behind? As you approach the entrance, you hear a snarl coming from inside. Ah... Uh, Hmm, yeah. Let's continue. I ain't about that laugh. 
I don't want to get eaten. Oh, come on. You thought it'd be a cave here. Oh, there is. Oh, there's one close. Can I make that? I don't... I think it's going to take some energy, right? All right. As you walk past the massive crevice, you hear faint cries for help. Looking into the depths, you identify an unfortunate mountaineer at the bottom of the chasm. Oh. I'm so close to doing that. Ah. Why do I take, if I take one of these now, I feel like I'm using these a lot now. <laughs> and I can't use my tent, can I? I could help, I bet. I think I'll get some good stuff for helping him. I know I shouldn't be doing this. This is a bad play. This is a bad move. Climb down and save him. Carefully, you climb down the crevice. After some time, you reach the bottom. With great effort, you manage to save the mountaineer. His gratitude is beyond words. Oh. All my energy gone. Thanks, though. I have... Wow. Critical status. When the stat other than your health reaches zero, your status is critical. Your path preview turns red. Once any of your stats reaches critical level, if you continue to move in this condition, you will face dangerous critical events. Careful. If your health reaches zero, your run is over. Oh, so we can move then. It's just... My health's going to go down every time, so we will... Uh, it's really annoying, because... How much is that going to cost? Uh, what did it say? Like, do we test it a little bit? So, how much to move? So, we've got 17.1. Okay. Seventeen point one still. <gasps> the pain wakes you up again. You're lying on the ground, blood running from your nose. Oh, oh, we're not dead. Oh, give me an energy boost. Ah! Oh, 3.6 health for that? That's, that's that's okay, right? You enter a cave. It's dry and sheltered from the wind. At the rear of the cave, you notice a faint shimmer of light. Oh, follow the light. You follow the light and find a weathered block of stone encompassed by a strange light. When you touch it, energy flows into your body. You're feeling invigorated. Sleep is now the last thing on your mind. And we got plus one health from that. Wow. Another level up. Uh, until the end of the mission. Wow. Plus 10% time cost though. Uh, that's, that's really good as well. Plus 1.5 oxygen per hour when moving. Plus 30 max watching oxygen. So we'll be at 150. Uh, significantly decreased sanity loss when moving. But additional sanity loss when resting. Uh, no, I'm thinking... Oh, time, the time is just going to go faster here though. But do we care about time? If anything, I, I move a lot at night time. The time moving fast is actually quite a good thing. <laughs> But 150 oxygen. Is that right? Let's do that. I just want to see this. How crazy it's going to be. Oh, no. We've got two oxygen tanks. We're at 120. Out of everything so far, I've only got two cans of energy left, right? 
energy is should be the way to go at the minute. I think so. Uh, what would you get? What would you guys have chosen there? Hmm, this isn't good. Oxygen bottle. As you climb along the crevice in a glacier, you see an oxygen bottle together with an oxygen mask buried under a thick layer of ice. The bottle seems to be intact. Uh, we're okay. Do nothing. Oh, wait there. If that's free. Shards fly. You smash a sharp stone against the ice. Over and over, you finally have removed enough ice to grab it off your bottle and pull it towards yourself. Oh, we, well, if anything, we've got a lot of XP there. Uh, can I rotate that? No? Fair enough. Uh, three oxygen balls. I don't like any of these ways. I feel like this way might be a bit better. It's steep, but that's going towards the ice and a shit show. This actually looks all right. Oh, the air is getting thin and your breath is heavy. You have entered the desk. Oh, we've got the extra mask as well. You have entered the death zone. Nice. Uh, you pause for a moment to prepare for the difficult path towards the summit. Effects. Oh, but don't we have something that in the death zone we get better benefits? I will ascend as quickly as possible. Uh, I'll take it slow. Decreased effect, oh, plus one oxygen power when moving. Before I ascend, I will mend my wounds. Oh, wow. We get like a little boost before we do it then. I feel like I've already got the... I'm good for oxygen, I feel. Only eight hours of minus 35% energy. Or get my health way nearly back up i think i'll do this i don't know 17.9 that this feels good now all right death zone so we shall switch those over we got the oxygen mask on so uh let's see how much it depletes now and then we've got Loads of oxygen bottles that I'd actually like to use because uh, it's taking up my space. <laughs> Interesting to see what's happening here then. All right, looks like this is the only way. Oh, wait, should we... Reduce the energy cost of climbing for a limited time. I feel like we should use this now. Three hours. You approach a canyon and notice that a rope has been stretched across it. Who could have done that? And can you risk using it? Uh, a little bit of oxygen, a little bit of heat, that's fine. Sanity. That's, uh, I'll drive it. Yeah, shimmy across. You wrap your legs around the rope and pull yourself across the canyon inch by inch. The rough fibers of the rope cut into your palms, but you ignore the pain. You're almost on the other side when the rope suddenly goes slack. You swing towards, you swing forward and slam into the rock face with an almighty smack. With trembling hands, you pull yourself up the rope to the edge of the cliff. You survived, but your torso is peppered with bruises. Ooh, all those oxygen boosts that we've got. We might be using those oxygen bottles quicker than we thought. But we're still, we're still moving quick, right? Look how much, look how little I'm affected by Climbing acts conserve strength, euphoria, and climbing rope. We're barely uh, using any energy. This is amazing. Uh, let's go there. Look at all this stuff here. There's a cave. Fragile ice. You reach the shore of a frozen mountain lake. 
On the embankment, you find what remains of a camp. You take a look around, but there's nothing useful in sight. Or is there? Just a few yards from you on the sheet of ice, you spot some unopened canned food. Do you want to retrieve it? Oh, if it just keeps on wanting me to... Is it going to say you're closer and closer? Yeah, yeah, all right. I kind of knew that. I thought it might change every time, but I guess not. Can we make that? No way. No one's that lucky. Is that really going to cost me 8.1 and I have 8.2? That's if we get there without any events. I didn't realize how slow your oxygen goes down, but I guess I've got quite a lot, right? And that's with the injured torso. Let's go. You enter the cave. That is amazing. Point 0.1 energy left. <laughs> you enter a cave. It's dry and sheltered from the wind. Further back, you see a small tunnel leading into the darkness. Uh, I'm good at the minute. I feel like I've got some canned food, oxygen. I don't. I mean, yeah, it'd be nice to get some XP at the minute, but why rock the boat when I don't need to? You know? Sleep long. Uh... Oh, look at the oxygen. Let's go. Come on, I want to use an oxygen bottle. All right, this. Oh! Whoa, we just... Yo, was this really steep? <laughs> I mean, it's got to be this way, right? Oh, here we go. Your path leads you across a narrow ridge with snow and ice deposits on the edges. Beyond the edges, the mountain falls away steeply. One wrong step and you'll plummet into the depths should you risk it. Uh, take a detour. The snow deposits are unpredictable. You prefer to take a detour than to risk plunging into the debris. Let's go. Come on. What is going on? No oxygen at all getting depleted. You cannot believe your eyes. A fallen antenna is blocking your path. Uh, oh, stay and look around. We can afford the oxygen. Oh, take a detour and continue my journey. That's fine. Let's go. Give me that experience. Uh, there's another cave here. Should we... Make the most of this or just carry on. Could get a nice uh, boost here. I almost want to use that tent now. Because it'll leave me a space. <laughs> Let's go. Full energy. Still got to be careful though. I know there's a lot of bad things out there. You come across a corrugated metal shipping container covered in rust. It is closed by means of a massive lock yet. So we try and break it. I feel like I've got uh, the energy now to do that. And we have climbing gloves. Wow. Wow. Can't use this yet. Plus. Not quite. Uh, oh, that's ice there. Let's do that way. Still got my uh, climbing axe, so maybe I should use. I'm going to use the climbing axe thing again. There we go. Oh, look at that. Hardly any energy now. Shrine. So let, is this going to be... Uh, your steps have been hewn, <laughs> hewn into the stone, leading you to a pedestal of sorts. Some type of religious site or shrine, maybe. You're not a particularly spiritual person, but somehow this place feels holy. It might just be your imagination, but you pray to the shrine for... 
Ooh. Hmm. Get to the nearly 100% health or a nice energy boost to f get over the finish line. I feel like that might be the way. I say finish line. I'm going to need all the energy to get up there. And I can't see shit. Where are we going? Where are we going? What is it to get up there? Oh, that one. Oh. Right there. Let's do that first. Good luck, buddy. Oh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Can we stop here? Oh. Perfect. Yep, that was a missed opportunity, so I'm glad I stopped that because we could just check out this, I think. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Ah. Is that worth it when I'm so close? Oh, I'm stood on a bad thing. Oh, a bit of excitement. <laughs> Maybe I should have gone up and then gone down. <laughs> oh, oh, the long crevice hinders your advance. There is a narrow spot where you could attempt to jump across. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go around. Ah, oh, I can finally use an oxygen tank. Oh, no, I can't. I'll be five over. Right. What the hell? I, I, I think I uh, gave too much respect to the oxygen. Oh, I've got some, just loads of stuff that stops me from, uh, helps me with my oxygen. In front of you, rocks and stones have been meticulously piled up to form a mound. A grave so far up here. Uh... I search for clues as to who is buried here. You carefully nudge the rocks with your boot. There's something there. You bend down and find some old but usable equipment. Another mountaineer must be buried here. You have a lot of questions and no answers. Who were they? How did they know about the island? What happened to their companion who buried them? Should we... I really am intrigued to see what the equipment is. You ask the unknown climber for forgiveness, but you are... Sure, they won't hold a grudge against you. After all, they have no use for the equipment anymore, but you do. Uh, okay. Massive hinder on the uh, temperature and sanity there. And it costs a lot of time, but we got some snow boots. Which... We're not really on ice at the minute, right? So should we just switch them out? We're mainly on snow at the minute. Now, I am going to use one of these, just... Oh, no. Uh... So is that 40? That's pretty much perfect. And then we can start them there. Probably not going to go over ice soon, but we're on snow at the minute mainly, right? All right, so we got that. Uh, I say snow. I think we're... Looks like we're nearly done with the snow a bit. But want there something? There? Do I carry all my stuff onto the next level? And I'm talking about the next level, and I ain't even finished this yet. Oh, ah! Come so far. Camp. You discover an intact tent. There is nobody in sight, but the embers in the fire pit are still glowing. The camp is obviously being used by someone. It could contain valuable items. Well, let's have a search. The tent with an unusual symbol catches your eye. You plunder it and find valuable equipment. Cool. Climbing gloves? Uh, we already have them. Can I? No. All right. Yes, we'll leave them behind. The same clothes we've already got. All right. Shrine. You descend into a cave and breathe deeply. The air down here is warmer, moister, <laughs> and richer in oxygen. You almost feel as if it's befuddling you. Your limbs grow heavy, but your mind remains alert. You relax and regain... Uh, no oxygen? Oh, I guess it's got to be energy. And I think... Uh, 
Yeah, what happens to the next level? Do I take all this? Because if not, I don't know. I really want to take the tea now just to get my body temperature up. So close. Yeah, I really want to take that tea. <laughs> Wonder. Northern Lights. What a sight. Leveled up. Alright. I guess, does it matter? I uh, energy. <laughs> I think we've done it. All been well. We don't hurt ourselves. At the tippity top of the mountain. At the summit. Your heart feels light and full of joy as you stand on the summit. The hardship of the climb already forgotten. You savour the moment. It is yours and yours alone. Thank you. What an adventure. What a view. Off in the distance you can see more mountains. Higher even than the one you are standing on. And what's that? Something stands atop one of them. Long and thin. From the distance. It looks like an antenna. But that can't be right, can it? You want to take a closer look. You aren't done exploring yet. But first you have to get out of the death zone. And find a safe place to take a break. Oh, wow. And that's going to... 19.9 we're going to have. <laughs> oh, it's going to give me the heat. Oh, what? We reached the summit. So we have to get all the way back down and... Oh! I'm so glad I didn't... Yeah, I guess we could have taken that tea, but... Alright, guys. Can we... Has this saved? I mean, if I leave now, what's going to happen? We've reached the... Reached the summit. Reached the camp. Pause the game, show options. Huh. Oh, I'm really worried now. What if I leave? <laughs> oh, no. It's got to be saved, right? I think it is. All right, guys. Because this is where we're going to end it. I guess the first mission, we are at the top of the summit. We did it. Uh, making all the way back down, I guess, then to go back up to another one that's going to have an antenna on there. Uh, I don't know, yeah, so this has been insurmountable. It is free on the Epic Store right now, but even if it's not, when you, uh, whenever you watch this video on Zoom or Upload, uh, check it out on Steam, because I looked there, it was very cheap, and uh, this game feels very polished so far. I'm really enjoying it, and if you want to see more, leave a like rating, and I'll definitely bring you it. But that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all. Happy Easter. Have a good one, and take care.